Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deandra, but you might know me as the American Speech Coach. Here on YouTube, I make videos about accent training, public speaking, using your voice, and more. In today's video, I wanted to explore the concept of language fluency. What does it actually mean to be fluent in a language? There are a lot of misconceptions out there about the language learning process and language fluency, which is oftentimes the ultimate goal for learners. But we've associated the term fluency with perfection or the highest, most advanced level of the language. But who has truly reached that level if you think about it? Would it be a linguist, a professor, a scholar? Is it someone who knows every single word in the dictionary? Do you know every single word in the dictionary of your own language? I certainly don't, but English is my first language, so does that mean I'm not fluent? Absolutely not. These unrealistic expectations of language fluency oftentimes leave people feeling insecure, inadequate, and less than. So I think it's really important that we have this discussion about it. I turned to my community on Instagram to ask what they thought speaking fluently means and how they would define it. So here are some of the responses that I got. Speaking fluently means speaking with confidence and clarity of thoughts. Another person said, to me, it's about expressing your personality in that language. I also make the difference between speaking fluidly without stumbling and fluency at different levels. You can be very fluent in one specific topic and in other topics, not so much. I really like how she made the distinction there between fluidly and fluently, because oftentimes fluently can be associated with speaking very quickly or very coherently. And I think that there are a lot of different words that we can use to describe what that means. So I like I like the fact that she used fluid versus fluent. I also really love how she mentioned that it's about expressing your personality. So letting yourself shine through in the language, which also goes back to feeling very comfortable, very relaxed, maybe being able to be humorous, playful, um, you know, just letting the different aspects of your personality shine through. And I, I would have to agree. Another person said, according to me, it means speaking with proper confidence and proper choice of words at the appropriate time. Yes, I think word choice, knowing what you want to say is important, but a lot of people do struggle with how to properly articulate themselves if they don't have enough practice in that situation. Someone else said, to be honest, it shows how confident you are in front of your friend group or any gathering. And more importantly, how clear you are with your thoughts. Fluency doesn't mean to speak fast. I definitely agree with that one. It only means to say exact words at the exact moment. Confidence leads to fluency. The more self-confident we are, the better at fluent conversation. Again, this concept of confidence being associated with fluency. Interesting. I also like how she mentioned that when you're able to speak fluently, you can speak in, in a social gathering or social setting because those situations are usually the most nerve wracking for people. This person said, it's the number of words and the time of speaking and the number of pauses shows how fluent you are. What do you guys think? Do you agree with some of the comments that I got in terms of what it means to be a fluent speaker? Make sure you let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you again to everyone who contributed and participated. I really appreciate hearing your thoughts. Here's what I think about what it means to be a fluent speaker, considering that I've worked with many non-native speakers over the years, and I have a background in speech and language. I believe that being a fluent speaker means that you are comfortable in the language. It means that you don't hold yourself back, even if you make mistakes, because guess what? We all make mistakes. I make mistakes and I'm a fluent native English speaker. So being fluent does not mean that you are perfect. It means that you can express yourself. You can engage in conversation that you don't hold yourself back. I think it's just about your attitude and what you bring to it and how comfortable you are 
speaking and participating in conversation with others. So yes, I think confidence plays a huge role in it, but not all fluent speakers of a language are confident speakers. I think it's important that we keep the conversation going about language fluency and breaking down these insane ideals we have about being a native speaker or speaking fluently, which is pushed by a lot of language programs and language teachers. So try not to get caught up in the marketing of it all and just focus on what your goal is. What are you trying to achieve as a speaker? And just focus on that. I don't think that the term fluency is going away anytime soon, but the more realistic we are about it, the more successful we will be in the long term. That's all I have to say about this topic today. Thanks so much for joining me and participating in this conversation. If you're looking for more support, you can check out the links below about my services, my free training, and more. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.